These scenes are causing a global impact. An exodus of Rohingya Muslim refugees fleeing security operations by the armed forces of Burma or Myanmar. Today, the head of the UN criticized that government's offensive and urged the granting of full human rights to the Rohingya. I appeal to all, all uh, uh, authorities in uh, uh, Myanmar, civil authorities and military authorities to indeed put an end to this violence that in my opinion is creating a situation that can destabilize the region. And the crisis is doing nothing for the international reputation of Aung San Suu Kyi either. Once imprisoned and a symbol of the country's yearning for democracy, she has since 2015 been a leading member of the government. Now she's denouncing the press for reporting the Rohingya mission, making references to fake news and an iceberg of misinformation. From her education in Britain to today's crisis, it's been a long journey. She kind of melded very brilliantly for a while the whole Western British democratic politics uh, with the dis kind of discourse you have at Oxford with uh, the Burmese Buddhism that she grew up in uh, and with the whole independence philosophy of her father. And these were very disparate things which she melded very successfully. But that is a hard mix or fix to, to maintain indefinitely, both from a psychological point of view and from a, a practical uh, you know, point of view. And unfortunately, I think that she's lost the plot. During the long years of house arrest, Aang was championed by leaders the world over. In fact, I've very often thought, I'm quite free. I don't know why people say I'm not free. I'm free because I was free up there. After her release five years ago, she campaigned for democracy and human rights. The belief in spiritual freedom does not have to mean an indifference to the practical need for the basic rights and freedoms that are generally seen as necessary, that human beings may live like human beings. A basic human right, which I value highly, is freedom from fear. But Ang is no Nelson Mandela. She's very much an insider, her father having founded modern Burma and belonged to its military elite. And in the current confrontation between the army and the Muslim minority, she stands against militancy and with the mainstream. Well, I'm upset that she hasn't uh, abided by her own values and, and the values which made her such a great person, the values which are important. She's there, she's queen bee, she's got the power, she's got the following, she's where she wants to be. She's not particularly bothered as far as I can tell about what the outside world thinks anymore. With the campaign against the Rohingya still underway, the Burmese government is taking a defiant line. But the humanitarian consequences of the operation have caused some, at least, to think again about Aung San Suu Kyi.